Hey Cancers, welcome or welcome back to the Cancerian Vibe. I am she, the Boss Lady B. Thank you so, so much for joining me. If you happen to be new to the channel, very special welcome to you. I do hope that you'll hit the subscribe button and join me here more often. I would absolutely love to have you a part of this all Cancerian family, okay? I'm a Cancer and I cater to the Cancers right here on the Cancerian Vibe. So definitely make sure your notification bell is turned on so you're notified each and every time that I upload because it's always going to be for the best sign in the zodiac cancer okay make sure you check out the description box all the important information that you may want to know um how to book a personal reading with me all that good stuff my um social media handle is down at the bottom of your screen boss lady b tarot on everything which is my main tarot channel you guys i encourage you to watch readings for your other placements um i do take care of all 12 zodiac signs on boss lady b tarot um if i can remember i'll drop the channel in the eye so you can just easily click over and join the um family over there there as well i would really really love to have you so you guys um yeah i'm back i wanted to use this deck so y'all i know i haven't done it feels like yeah i don't think i have done a regular general reading for february yet um because yeah february been kind of eventful for me but um I wanted to come in so this reading I do intend to be timeless so whenever it finds you whenever it resonates for you whenever you need it um you know even if you watch it now you need to come back to it um this is just going to be some advice some spiritual advice spiritual guidance see what messages come up for you for my cancers what you may need to hear right now look okay we see can career transition <laughs> saw that here so someone could be thinking of making some type of transition in regards to careers but let's see what messages come out for cancer what messages come out for cancer i'm not gonna take that okay wow so here we go yeah <laughs> we got universal bank that popped out everything you need to thrive is already here cancer so everything that you need to accomplish your desires your goals everything is here um the universal bank all the resources you have a universal bank that matches your universal mind that showed up here at the bottom of the deck Look, and it says you're about to receive the solution to your problem or your concern. I feel like the solution to your problem or concern lies within you. Um, so there's about to be some type of awakening, some type of awareness that happens. And you're going to realize there's some type of aha moment. Wow. Yeah, that is going to lead to some positive um, life changes. Um, trust the process, though, Cancer. Trust the process. Okay, positive life changes are ahead but definitely trust the process. You're about to re receive the solution to whatever your problem, concern, or situation is. And you're having a, a, an unlimited supply of it, okay? But wow, so shooting star came out. The number 30 card, you are a shooting, shooting star. You are about to step into your fullest potential. And have you not been showing up as the star cancer? Like, I'm telling you, spotlight, shooting star. I'm hearing like wish fulfillment as well, cancer. Look, um, stepping into the spotlight here. And we have generosity that came at the bottom of the deck. I do feel like cancer. There's a a sense of you being able to be generous because of this bank that you tap into. Like you've you've tapped into this universal bank, this reservoir, and you're able to be generous because of it. Wow, yes, earth shifts happening. Cancer. Yes, I love this. It could definitely have felt like you were in hibernation mode, like hermit mode, kind of just tucked in was away from people, wasn't doing too much, maybe even moving, like working in silence. Um, but look, some things have been shifting on your behalf. You are very connected to Mother Earth. And as such, you experience all that she does. Um, and you know, yeah, just like the seasons change, Cancer, your season is about to change. It's about to come out of, like, we're coming out of winter. Yes, y'all, we're getting ready for spring. Bump what the groundhog said. I feel like that's the message here like it's about to be a new season it's like a rejuvenation a refreshing that's what's happening that's what that's what shifts are occurring you're coming out of this maybe where you felt left out in the cold 
kind of situation. Um, yeah, because look, it was tough love. It was tough love that was happening. These challenges that you are facing. Um, I'm also seeing where you may have to exercise tough love with someone that you care about. Um, you may be needing to part ways with someone y'all yeah that's been coming up too it's time to part your ways there may just be some people that you don't resonate with anymore y'all if it's ever me you know i'm not mad at it either you know sometimes you just outgrow people and you have to part your ways i'm never upset about that choose you okay always choose you um so but parting ways it may be time to move on from this person or situation so there could definitely be some things that you need to part part ways with um cancer but tough love came out and look it's it says it is time to tell the truth about something you have been avoiding and i feel like you've been, been avoiding parting ways with a situation a certain situation or a certain person okay but spirit is adamant about no you are not going to get this blessing until you um or you're not going to get this revelation. You're not gonna you're not gonna get this revelation about your blessing because it's already here. Like um, you're not gonna get the revelation about where your blessing is until you part ways with whatever this whoever this person is or whatever this um situation is. But yeah, I can't say. Um, let me see. Oh, y'all. Okay. <laughs> so whatever card that was. Just had the and it slid right here in my drawer, y'all. That is so funny. Um, judgment. <laughs> You're being asked to let go of all judgments and forgive those who judge you. Interesting. So, um, and cancer coming out after this tough love, you could definitely because it says you are being asked to let go of judgments, so you could like have some judgments. Um preconceived notions about a person however it's resonating for you i'm not trying to call you out but it, it does definitely feel like you're um you're needing to let go and um it could be a part of this tough love too in the situation where this person where you're having a part ways cancer it's time to be the it's trying to be the judge and and forgive this person and and move on um someone could be judging you as well cancer Someone could be judging you, and someone could be judging you because an old um, of an old habit or something like your past, your past, a past situation. But forgive those people that uh, judge you as well. It's like don't you can't concern yourself with what people think about you. Like that's that's going to do nothing but derail your success or postpone it. Like. You know, hey, if somebody is thinking about you, judging you, you, you know, they're spending enough time to be worried about thinking about you, you know, hey, you're embedded in their mind. You're showing up in their dreams. Okay. Um, like, forgive that. Like, you can't do, you can't do anything about that. That's, you know, very personal. So let go of all judgments. If that's you, Cancer, you may need to let go of some judgments. If, you know, you're feeling judged, Cancer, forget this person. Don't let that. I know, and it could be easier said than done, but don't let that affect you. Um, because yeah, it's definitely time to break old habits. It could have been an old habit to let, um, it could have been an old habit of yours to like judge people or be judgmental cancer, or it could be an old habit of yours that some old habits of yours that are keeping you from moving forward that you're needing to address. So, um, yeah, look, and it could definitely be <laughs> in regards to connection. So we got past life connection that popped up popped up you are currently healing past life wounds can't say you are cur currently healing past life wounds but you are very heavily connected in heavenly realms so while you're healing these past wounds know that you know your connections in heaven look the connections that you have to this universal bank as well everything that you need to survive and thrive the connection that you have the most important one is to spirit um let's see and see so soulmate just tried to slide out here <laughs> um this relationship is a match made in heaven and it's falling up under this shooting star so i feel like someone's wishing upon a star for their soulmate this could definitely be a past life connection i feel like love is coming in it's a part of this universal bank that's here for you um 
But yeah, there could definitely be, be some inner conflict that you're feeling right now. There, It feels like you're in a period of indecision, inner conflict, and it's really, really time to make some decisions, some tough decisions. It's time to be honest with yourself too as things shift, okay? Give me messages. Ooh. So time to lighten up here. You may be taking life too seriously, time to lighten up um and and allow things to flow slow down breathe like take time to smell the roses here um with this lighten up it's kind of like enjoy life just um and that came out in the weekly reading that i did for cancer depending on when you watch this but um it's like prioritize joy prioritize joy cancer make that a make that a priority because you could be definitely taking this situation this um decision that you're having to make this judgment call um very seriously to where it's like affecting you and it's like you know the answer will come to you by not like being desperate for it or like running after it or longing for it it's kind of like just take your mind off of it do something fun um angel numbers coming out so there could definitely be some angel numbers sending you messages so when you see an angel number i would not say that it's coincidence look up what it means um there could definitely be a message for you pay attention to the signs your angels are trying to de deliver a message and y'all signs have been coming up for cancer cancer your psychic abilities have been deepened um because you're being sent these signs you're able to decode and decipher them um and and be okay with being as i said like um because I feel like, you know, that kind of came up in the weekly reading as well about being kind of psychic or, you know, being new to your gift or feeling out of sorts, feeling odd about your gift or who you are. Like, give, you don't need approval from anyone but yourself, Cancer, okay? So even if with the judgments here too, if, if you feel that people are judging you, you don't need approval from anyone but yourself and spirit. You are co-creating with spirit. That's the most important connection here, Um Okay, so don't don't seek approval from mere humans because they are just that mere humans in the very same predicament that you are that you are. So yeah, give me one more here. <laughs> Look, and so old habits um flipped out here, but core values is at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like there's a shift in your perspective as far as what you believe, your beliefs, um, your habits, your daily routine may change because you're following your heart and making your values a priority now um and you're realizing that there could be an old habit that's preventing you from moving forward something that's blocking you um from moving forward in your creative projects it's time to get things done make your um creative projects a priority right now because look you have the magic touch cancer you have the magic touch but let's see um tell me about this Ooh, and see some mentor popped out um you guys it says you are about to meet a person of high integrity who will guide you in the right direction and that's been coming up you guys i do offer mentorship and coaching services if you're interested in working with me i do offer a free 15 minute consultation that way you can get a vibe from me outside of um youtube and social media just you know for our energies to meet because i do feel like um you want someone of integrity, you want someone genuine. Um, and so that's for your soul to decide. And that can differ for every person. Like, you know, one person may feel one way, another, however. Um, but that, so that's why I offer it like that. If you're interested, you can definitely look in the link in the description box below. Um, for Boss Lady B Soul School. I do also offer, um, I am starting also to offer individual like one-off um, sessions outside of tarot. So like mentor, um, mentorship, life coaching, spiritual advising sessions. Um, you guys, if you're, if you're interested in that, definitely check out my website. It's on the bottom of your screen boss lady be terrible but yeah so mentor had just slid out here so i'm gonna leave it over here you may be considering um a mentor or, or seeking a mentor wanting to meet a person to help guide you in the direction um because yeah it feels like you've gone through some type of awakening and like now you want to be educated you want um you want more it's like you're thirsting for more knowledge so yeah that's really really exciting but let's see tell me 
about old habits here. Uh, yeah, and look, spiritual growth is here at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, this you are you are definitely going through a spiritual evolution right now, currently, um, Cancer. But there can be okay, so reconciliation came out here with old habits. Um, Cancer, I do feel like you could there could be an old habit of yours to kind of like go back or um you know, save um, situations. And I feel like that's fine. Like, that's okay. But don't force a situation. Don't try to hold on to a connection. If it's not, if it's natural, if it's not a natural fit, like, let it go here. That could be an old habit for some here. It could be like an old habit coming back, wanting to reconcile here as well. Like, maybe, you know, your fix. It was like an ex or whoever. There's an old thing that you used to be, like, fixated on or, you know, um, you spent a lot of energy towards you, th this person was like your fix. They were like a habit, you know, you know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> but yeah, tell me more about old habits. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wake up call came out. Excuse me. I feel like you're about to realize some of these habits. Um, but you're really, really waking up to your life purpose. I feel like some of you have, felt this call and that's why you're seeking out this knowledge seeking out mentorship um you're feeling the shifts of the energy you're realizing that you have this gift within you um you're afraid that people are gonna judge you i feel like i feel like that's a big thing and y'all and and honestly i get on here and i'm afraid i i get afraid that people judge me i'll be very honest and transparent i i used to I used to really, really care a lot about what other people thought about me. Like, it really would devastate me if you didn't like me or if I felt misunderstood by you or, like, it would really hurt my feelings. Like, it would really kind of, like, I want to be liked by everybody. Unrealistic as hell, okay? Um, because there are some people that just aren't meant for you. Like, <laughs> there are 50, 11 billion, 20, 11, 20,000 trillion, all kind of people in the world, y'all. Um... And, you know, don't worry about what people think. <laughs> like, and that's what I'm saying. You have to frame it as, as though these people that have these judgments towards you are mere humans themselves. Like, they are humans. They are humans just like you. We're all in the same predicament. Like, there's no above or, you know, like, so don't, don't let the judgments, don't let that deter you from moving forward um however you decide to move forward be you authentically cancer okay no matter and let them judge let them judge cancer if, if that's what they want to be on that's what they wanted to be on um but look yeah and approval is back here at the bottom of the deck you don't need anyone else's approval you don't need anyone else's you may someone i feel like is like waiting for like family approval because it came out in the weekly reading for whatever this gift is or this desire. Um, but you approve yourself. That's all you need. The stamp that you need is between you and spirit. Nobody else, okay? No matter what your environment or the people around you are saying. Okay? But let's see. Tell me about this soulmate. Let's see. Tell me about soulmate. Uh-uh. So, entrepreneur popped out here. <laughs> it says, be on the lookout for exciting business opportunities to unfold. And see, I feel like this is popping out because, like I said, the reading was kind of messy. I do feel like love is connected for someone in regards to you maybe deciding to be an entrepreneur. You stepping out and working for yourself. You could be linking up with an entrepreneur. Um, for some of you, I feel like this soulmate connection could be between you and a mentor as you know, you may be thinking about entrepreneurship or something like this, because it just says a relationship is a match made in heaven. That's, you know, you want a, a relationship, a match made in heaven in regards to like being, um, guided or, you know, coached or mentored. However, so exciting. Tell me more about soulmate. Tell me more about soulmate here for cancer. Connection, yeah, connection popped out. So I do feel like this connection could be in regards to money or career cancer. So um, 
but know that you your most important connection is the one in hell, heavenly realms and whatever is true in the spiritual realm you can bring down into the physical realm okay um i do definitely see someone uh transitioning their career i definitely i feel like someone could be stepping into entrepreneurship so um if that's you it could definitely um wow if that's you um I say definitely like go for it, take action. You could kind of be bogged down. It's like time to lighten up on yourself and, and just go for it. Like stop judging yourself. It could be your own self-sabotage that's, that's preventing you. Um, but intuition and spiritual gifts show up, y'all. You're in the, um, I and I definitely feel like it's someone's intuition. You are learning to embrace and trust your inner knowing. Um, and, that, and that's where you could be wanting mentorship as well with your intuition, your spiritual gifts, um, fine tuning them. You could feel judged, y'all. Um, and that's why I'm like so, um, that's why I'm like so, I don't know the words, y'all, but like that's why I guess intentional about being being open because I don't want to just do readings for y'all. Like I do want to be open to people that want to work beyond just re or watching a tarot reading, you know, um, connecting with people, helping people. Like I just feel like that's how the world moves like along. And so I do my part in, in that. Um, and I want you to be able to do the same. Like, I want you to have that same freedom, Cancer. So, like, I, when I say I'm very intentional about the genuine support that I can offer you, if you're interested, definitely check out my website. Um, because it definitely feels as though someone is, like, really, really wanting to learn more about their spiritual gifts, their intuition, using that. Um, you could be wishing on that. But look, and you have everything that you need. You just need someone to help you either see it see how to use it fine tune it so yeah because cancer you are um you are the star <laughs> you are the star okay but let's see tell me about earth shifts i'm not gonna clear clarify all of these but yeah look energy healer you are na your natural ability to heal yourself and others is needed now in with the energy shift i feel like too yes you're a visionary and you're you're moving forward and, and turning your creative ideas into in, endeavors with the shifts, um, and you're using your energy. You you yourself could be an energy healer, Cancer, because it's natural for you. Um, but being protective of your energy as well, mindful of your energy as things shift. Um, okay. Tell me, uh, tell me about the angel numbers here. What message? Trust and forgiveness. Yeah, for, it feels like there's definitely some forgiveness that needs to happen as well for you to move forward. It is time for you to let down your guard and learn to trust again. This could definitely be in a new connection as well. But look at the metamorphosis. Yes, Cancer, have you not been talking about you, the metamorphosis, the caterpillar turning into the butterfly? Like the caterpillar that emerges from its cocoon, you are about to get your wings. So things are about to... Um, Look, you've just gone through a, a little bit of tough love, okay? But your perception is about to change. I definitely pay attention to the synchronicities. Allow the magic to unfold um, as synchronous events lead you in a new direction. So you're being like, nothing is happening by chance. This is all faded, okay? Things are happening in a divine synchronistic order. And your perception could definitely be changing your shift, um... A shift in your perception will change like everything here, Cancer. And the and I feel like that's the message that the angels are trying to give you. Yeah, there's an awakening, and you're wanting more education. I feel like the the hunger for an education is here, and it's a really really um important part of your soul's development. So, um, you know, learning all that you can, soaking all that you can, getting the um spiritual guidance that you need. But yeah, this uh, angel number, this message, I definitely feel like this is a part of your spiritual awakening um, process, Cancer. And awakening to the, the realization of this bank, this universal bank that you have um, access to. Everything that you need to thrive is all ready here. So I'm just going to pull a spirit message. I'm not going to keep this too long. I'm going to pull a spirit message for you. Look, Sandra Grounds came out. And I'm going to keep it because it came out in the weekly reading. Um, but I'm going to pull one more here. 
Ooh, one message choices see yeah it definitely feels like you're making some type of decision some type of judgment call um but standing your ground came out first it says standing your ground is an empowering confidence building action to take from time to time now is the moment when you need to stand your ground you know you can do it and you know that by doing so you will be the victor and i feel like standing your ground in your spiritual gifts um standing your ground you know a, a beyond the judgments that you feel um you know and still growing in your knowledge still seeking the knowledge the tree of knowledge i feel like outside of um whatever because yeah your your beliefs your perceptions your all that is changing and, and stand on what you believe you know you don't have to be dictated by anything in anyone else's um choices like they it can't run your life like you run your life cancer you run your life and you're realizing that um but choices came out as well it says when you accept responsibility for your life and the choices you make you begin to tap into the power of your own spirit you'll be able to listen to and appreciate the intuitive wisdom that's inside you and apply it positively and constructively to your outside world and that's a part of this universal bank but um you know what i'm actually i felt like i was gonna read the message for this so i'm gonna read the message for choices here that came let's see so it says um this card um this card will act as a mantra to help you focus and bring clarity to a potentially important choice that you may need to make let this card help you refocus your scattered thoughts and energies and bring you back to a place where sheer number of options don't seem so overwhelming. Choices need to be made and the more time you take in making these vital decisions, the longer it will be before you can achieve your goals in the physical material world. All the choices you've already made in your life have brought you to this point. So the spirit world is helping you now to stop analyze and assess the various options before you and how might each and how each might affect the um the outcome by making better smarter carefully considered decisions and choices you'll no longer be a victim of circumstance but have the power and ability to change your outcome okay acknowledge the signs and follow those intuitive nudges to help you make the right choice Making the right decision today has more purpose and that validity than one made on a whim or in desperation. So there's a real need, Cancer, for the decisions, the choices that you're faced with having to make, being very intentional about checking in with your intuition, following the the um following and decoding and getting these messages that your angels are trying to send you they're trying to help you in these decisions okay um and stand firm in what you feel stand firm in what you feel because there could be something or someone that tries to sway you but if it feels right go with what feels right the intuitive nudge cancer and if you're needing help with your intuition y'all i do i hope to um be able to Find some time to do that on YouTube um, to kind of help with your intuition, like intuition practices. But um, it's like tons of it on here already anyway. But yeah, Cancer, um, I do feel like someone's definitely like trying to seek knowledge on doing more so of that. They feel like they're tapping into their spiritual gift or finding their life purpose. So that's really, really exciting. And it's really, really exciting when you can link up with someone um, that has, you know, the like mind of you, you know, your energy, your, your spirits kind of align, you know, a match made in heaven, a match made in heaven. So, um, I wish that on all of you all who are seeking mentorship or anything, if, if I can be of any assistance or you would like to see, definitely, like I said, check out my website or you can check the links in the description box below. Uh, but I'm gonna leave it here, you guys. Um, thank you again for watching. Please like, share, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. But in the meantime, in between time, until next time, love you.